Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you the best audio and microphone settings in OBS in 2021. So the first thing we're gonna do is head over to the settings in the bottom right corner. From here, the next thing you wanna to go to is the audio tab, and you wanna first make sure that your sample rate is set at 44.1 kilohertz. This is the most common sampling frequency and it's used in things like CDs and just media in general. So first make sure it's set to that. After you've done that, select okay. And now we're gonna actually be looking at our microphone Ideally, you want to be in the green and yellow range. You do not want to exceed in going into the red range. If I raise my voice, you're going to see the whole bar going to red. And that indicates that your microphone is too loud. And also one more tip, make sure that you are relatively close to your microphone. If you're too far away from your microphone, it's going to sound bad no matter what you do. So I recommend you use this as sort of a reference. Use your thumb and your pinky extended out to your to your chin and this will give you a general idea of how close your mic should be to your mouth so click on to the gray cogwheel and go to the filters tab and the first thing we're going to fix is our gain here i already have it set up i'm actually going to decrease this a little bit since i'm relatively close to my microphone so that looks a little bit better we'll turn it down a bit to minus two and that looks pretty good it's not really going into the red at all so that looks decent for us this is really going to depend again on how loud you're talking so once we have the gain set up, the next thing we're going to be looking at is the compressor. And this just essentially compresses your audio. You're going to have a dynamic range where you talk really low and you talk really loud. And what this essentially does is this sort of levels it out and normalizes all that audio. So make sure to turn on your compressor. I find that the uh, default settings in OBS are good enough. Just make sure you have this turned on. You'll notice an immediate improvement in the quality of your microphone. So make sure you have this turned on you don't need to change anything and after you've added that we're going to add another thing we're going to add a limiter and what this is going to do is it's similar to a compressor except it's a little bit more intense what this is going to do is let's say you scream into your microphone i'm not going to do that i don't want to hurt your guys ears but if i were to scream into my microphone we're going to have a huge jump into the audio level so what we want to do is we want to make sure we have a limiter on there so it's not going to blow out our viewers ears so in this case i'd recommend trying around three to four minus three to minus four see how that sounds you could test it if you wanted to i'd say that's a pretty good range to start at minus three to minus four for your limiter. And the last thing that we're gonna be using, guys, this will really depend if you wanna use either the noise gate or noise suppression. So let's first go over noise gate. If you're in a very sort of loud setting, let's say you have like dogs running around in your house, you have a bunch of family members, I'm gonna recommend that you probably use the noise gate. This is just essentially a more intense version of noise suppression in the background. And it's essentially just gonna cut off any noise beyond a certain point. So we have our closed threshold, open threshold. Try and mess with these settings a little bit. This is gonna be very dependent on the uh, sort of background noise that you have going on. And let's say that uh, you maybe you live alone or maybe there's not that much noise in your house to begin with. I'd recommend actually not using the noise gate simply because it just, it's not, it doesn't sound as good as what we're gonna be using, which is noise suppression, noise suppression. So. For noise suppression, the method, this is essentially, before we used to have a sliding scale, but now OBS has offered us this. I want you to use the RN noise. This is gonna give you the best quality for noise suppression. Again, if you have a bunch of background noise, right now I don't, so I could just use this, but if you did, you wanna make sure to use the noise gate to sort of just totally cut off any noise above a certain level. So once you have all those four settings, just simply close it, and there you go, guys. Those are the best microphone settings for your microphone in 2021 in OBS. And if you guys want to learn how to stream on Twitch, make sure to click on the screen right now. And other than that, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.